I converted into a tow truck. It was just a regular pickup when I bought it. And the uh, it originally came out of Phoenix, Arizona area. It's all original. It's got 60, 66,000 original miles on it, I think. Has the Flathead 6, Super Hurricane 6 in it. The uh, wrecker assembly is a 1959 Ashton made up in New York. And um, I put that in it and made it a wrecker. It's fully functional as a wrecker. And uh, you can tow with it. And uh, of course, my insurance company won't let me tow because it's insured as an antique, so you can't tow anything. But you could tow something if you wanted to. As a, the winch is a 12,000 pound winch in the bed and has an 8,000 pound PTO driven winch off the front. It's pretty much all original running gear, original brakes. Everything's been redone and uh, it runs down the road good. It has overdrive on it. And, uh, It'll run along 55 mile an hour pretty comfortable now with overdrive. The uh, the side running boards, uh, me and Buddy Mab, we made those. The rear step bumper we made, that's all uh, steel diamond plate, it's not aluminum. And we we bend it all by hand, we don't have a break. And I made the rear bumper in one piece, the side boards are in one piece. And uh, I wanted to look, look factory like it was made that way, so we put a lot of work into that to make that work. But it's fully functional you can walk on it jump on it because it is all steel these are uh, kerosene road lanterns they, a lot of people think it's a fire extinguisher but there's actually three of these stacked in here you take this black cap off and there's a big thick wick and this is what they used to use for road construction or accident scene working before they come out with battery operated flashing yellow lights and you light the lantern uh, here and they used to call them smudge pots because they put kerosene in it, it would smoke black. So they got a nickname as a smudge pot. That's a factory holder. And um, like I said, you take the three out and light them and set them at an accident scene. I had to put special hinges on it to clear the winch. That's See, I couldn't use a com conventional flat hinge. I had to lift and tilt at the same time. I made the cab tilt on this thing because the engine is so hard to work on. It's a real pain, so I decided to make the cab tilt. But I actually built a steel plate in the front, reinforced the front of it, and put hinges on the front. But the lift jacks, these are electric from the what they use in the marine industry to open up a rear hatch on a uh, go-fast boat. And uh, so I welded a plate in here, reinforced the floor, and, and it works on electric. It uh, has automatic stop up and automatic stop down, so I don't have to worry about when it stops. And I used the original locating bolts and tapered them uh, for a point so when the cab sets back down it, it helps line it up if it's out of kilter a little bit. The choke and throttle control is mounted here on a steel bar and it's mounted to the frame because the engine moves and jiggles. There's a hole in the in the floor so when the cab tilts the choke and throttle control stays put. The shifter doesn't move it stays put. I took the original floor and cut it, reshaped it, reinforced it and it, it's using the original Jeep link rods. Everything's original there I did have to shorten the gear shift a little bit and there's a hole in the floor with a rubber seal so when the cab tilts back down it it seals the floor back up and uh, the engine's all original I converted to a hydraulic or uh, I mean the uh, clutch is uh, cable I mean I put a, a longer cable on it to make it work and um, had to redo the throttle redo the steering and um, to make everything work but it's fully functional four-wheel drive works overdrive works PTO all works it just makes it a lot easier to, to, to service the engine. You can walk right up to the engine and, and service it, so it makes it a lot better.